Right guys, the flop shot. One of uh, the most exciting shots in golf, I would say, because it's it's very spectacular. It's got that kind of jazz about it, really. And because we're at a beautiful setting with a beautiful shot over this bunker, why not do a golf tip on how to play the flop shot? So the flop shot, as long as we've got the confidence to play it, can be a very, very useful shot. Sometimes players play it maybe unnecessarily. Only make the course force you to hit a flop shot. So situations like this, this, this is a definite flop shot situation. Got to get it up over the bunker and stop really quickly. If you can run it, run it, because it's a much safer shot. But we're here for the flop shot. We're here for the, the jazz and the, the spectacular shot, which is always uh, very exciting to play. So what I would always say, the first thing we need when trying to play a flop shot is acceleration. Regardless of setup, acceleration is key. If we end up slowing down too much, we don't increase enough of the club head speed to get that ball popping up in the air, and we just don't get strike. It ends up being so horrible. You know, it's, it's not a nice, confident strike. So acceleration is always key. Now for the trick to that, we've got to be confident and make sure we can do a big swing going back and the very big swing going through. I'm going to come back to the through swing in a moment after I talk about setup. Setup wise, I think it's very important to maximize loft. So this is a 60 degree wedge, but I'm going to make it even more lofted by turning the face open at a dress before I've gripped hold of the club yet. Once I've turned it open, then I'm gripping hold of the golf club. Now that face is way off to the right at the moment, so I need to just counter that out by aiming my stance more towards the left. That also has its advantages because it allows me to swing more across my body, again, helping to maintain that loft as much as I can. So body weight, body alignment to the left, almost pointing off at 11 o'clock if the target was 12, and club face opened and then re-gripped so that the face is open when I re-grip the golf club, pointing more to one o'clock. Ball position slightly in front of centre because we don't want the club to bottom out directly on top of the ball. That's not the flop shot I wanted to hit. Directly on top of the ball. So we want it. We want to give ourselves that opportunity for the club to be actually hitting slightly more on the up. We don't want to be hitting mega down on it. So once we've got the setup all complete, we've got to do the big swing to get the power, and we've really got to accelerate into a super high finish. That really high finish does a couple of things for us. Keeps the club face more open. So again, maximizing that loft that we've created. And it gets you to hit more, well, less down on it, let's say. Still gonna be down, but less down on it. Enough of the talk. Let's give this a shot a go. So open face, alignment to the left. I'm gonna do quite a big backswing and then really finish with super high hands. Be confident. over and it's on that's what's important notice there as well i'm not taking an enormous divot that's because i'm going more up through the ball getting the handle to rise up it is quite shallow and maintaining that loft just desperate to hit another one aren't i desperate to uh to hit a better one so open the face acceleration high hands and honestly you won't i don't know if you'll quite grasp the height of how high that actual shot's going but that plane up there has just nearly uh, had to put a, a warning out. I think it was going to get hit. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. That's a way of playing the spectacular shot in golf, the flop shot. Do check out all the other golf monthly tips on the website. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.